NVIDIA's RTX 40 refresh is officially here. You have already seen our take on the latest AMD graphics card. So why not try to find out what's going on from NVIDIA's end, as we take a look at RTX 4070T Super, RTX 4080 and RTX 4070T Super. Wait till the end to find out. The new GPUs, while they still belong to the RTX 40, deliver significant changes in specs, making them an interesting choice offering everyone something. So don't just let the Super fool you, not all upgrades are created equal in the 40 series arena. While each card throws a little more muscle toward the pixel crushing party, the gains vary wildly. All of the GPUs come with slightly better specs than their predecessors, but the bump isn't equally significant for all of them. In fact, the difference between the RTX 4080 and the RTX 4080 Super is fairly small. A sprinkle of extra CUDAs and a measly 50 MHZ clock boost barely register compared to its big brother. It's like polishing a supercar hood while the engine is still the same old but by no means an understatement. All the upgrades make the RTX 4080 Super a force to reckon but is still almost as far behind the flagship 4090 as its predecessor. The RTX 4080 Super only has 5% more CUDA cores than the basic version, with a slight bump in clock speed and same memory. Its performance will remain similar to the RTX 4080. But step down to the RTX 4070T Super, and things get spicy. The RTX 4070T Super fares better in that regard, getting 8,448 CUDA cores instead of the 7,680 that the RTX 4070T sports. This ditches the old GPU, throws in a wider memory highway, and boasts a juicy 16 GB memory upgrade. It also provides more memory. A whole new GPU makes this possible while the clock speeds remain almost the same. Finally, the RTX 4070 Super is the underdog with a bite as it serves up a notable upgrade in CUDA cores. It doesn't mess around with memory or clocks, but its CUDA count jumps a respectable 22%, bringing it closer to the 4070T than ever before. The jump is from 5,888 up to 7,168 which brings it closer to the RTX 4070T. However, the memory specs remain the same so does the clock speed, but the card gets a bump in TGP, adding 20 watts to a total of 220 watts. The RTX 4070T Super might just be the most valued one from this lot. Sure, the RTX 4080 Super throws 21% more cores into the graphical battle, but for a hefty price tag. The 4070T Super counters with a sharper price point and performance within spitting distance, likely only 10-15% behind its bigger brother. Sounds like a win for smooth 1440p glory. So, what do you think? How far and long Nvidia will play with enthusiast gamers before anything further? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.